Well, how's it going, guys? Today, I'm going to be reviewing the new Atari Life Speaker Hat, which is actually the Blade Runner edition. And the audio quality is really fantastic on this. It has two speakers in the front. There's a microphone somewhere, and all the tech stuff is inside somewhere. This is a wearable tech item, and it's really nice. It fits well on the head. And right now, the music that you are hearing is actually coming from the hat. So let me test a nice quality song on the speakers at very high settings. So let's pick out Zelda. This is from Breath of the, uh, Breath of the Wild. Before I actually talk more about the head, I wanted to show you how well the packaging is. Of course, I already unboxed it, but I repackaged it just to show you how well it is. It has a really nice box. It's actually very nice and secure in there because it has really good cushioning. It comes with an instruction manual, which I'm not going to go over. A sticker, a Blade Runner sticker. And a function thing. And an Atari sticker, as well as a micro USB. On the front side we have the Atari logo as well as, it, I'm assuming it says Atari in Japanese. And this is actually officially licensed by Atari themselves. On the back side we have Blade Runner 2049. There's actually multiple editions for this hat, different prices of course. On the left side we actually have the spot to turn it on. Just hold it down for a few seconds and it will turn on. And it's already synced because I already have it synced to my phone. And on the right side of the head, there's actually nothing on it. So on the flip side, we have two high quality speakers. There's actually a microphone located somewhere in there, but this is invisible tech, so it's hiding all the tech stuff inside the hat, so nobody can actually see it. And it's actually very comfortable to wear, of course. On the inside, on the left side, we have the Blade Runner 2049, as well as the Atari logo. And flipping this over, we have, I'm guessing, the battery. I know it has the USB port as well as a 2.5 millimeter headphone jack for private calls, which actually that's why the microphone's there for, so you can actually talk to people without having to hold your phone up. On the inside, on the right side, we have the AudioWare logo, and it says Future Hat on it. It also has, I'm not sure if this is a battery or if the other thing was a battery, but it has this thing. I'm guessing it might have all the tech stuff actually into that. Now this is actually going to scare people away, the price of it. This edition is actually $140. The other editions are $130. It's actually a really expensive hat, but the audio quality is really nice, and the battery life is really great on it. Also, before I forget to mention, I actually had my phone and the hat like 25 feet away from each other before it started losing its connection. So it actually got great distance with uh, the connection of the Bluetooth. The Bluetooth is really high quality on this one. Another thing I forgot to mention, if I push this button once when it's synced to my phone, it actually plays a song that's on there. And I have a YouTube video on there, so it's Zelda. So I'm just going to push that once. So let me push that again. There's one thing I do not like about this, and I let them know about it, is the fact that it's blinking. I kind of want in the next version when they make it to take away that light indicator. I know it's supposed to tell you that it's on, but the fact is I want it invisible to other people so they know I'm not wearing some kind of technology on my head when listening to music. And this is actually, this could actually bring some attraction to it. That's the only complaint I have about this hat. Otherwise, I really like it. And let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. And I'll have links and all that in the description as well. And as always, guys, have a smashing day.